When did you become this man? I mean, I get voicemails from you. I get texts, and it's always <laughs> blessed day, brother Sharp. Come hey, on, man. man. I, and it's <laughs> always so po so positive, so uplifting. When did you in evolve into this, Mario? Well, uh, I had to go through a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go through a lot. And um, essentially, you know, and I cover this in my book, um, Unbothered, The Power of Choosing Joy. You know, this life experience, you know, essentially being happy is, is our choice. It's no one else's choice. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's not, you know, up to any outside forces to, you know, um, make you want to be happy. You know what I mean? So moving uh, about the world in a positive way is something that I choose to do. And it's something essentially, you know, if you if you talk if you talk to any of, you know, my family or, or people that have known me, you know, I've always been this way. I've always, you know, um, wanted to interject some positivity and love and, and good energy anywhere I go. So I would say this is just an evolved version of, you know, the little Omari, you know. That. How, how hard is it to stay positive in such a negative world? Especially now we have social media. Yeah. And it seems like anytime you do something good, there's 15 people on there saying you did something bad. Yeah. And anytime you do something positive, there's always a negative. Yeah. How have you been able to stay so positive when everything seems to be around you that's so negative? I think it's important to be able to recognize, you know, um, where you know, that energy is coming from. Okay. You know, I think it's important to be able to take constructive criticism, mm -hmm. you know, and also, you know, everybody's not going to like what you do always. And right. they're not going to have the information to understand why, right. you know, you make mm -hmm. those choices. So essentially, you know, I just drown out that noise and I continue to show up as myself. You know what I mean? It, it's annoying to some people because, yeah. you know, negativity is such an easy thing to do. You know, it, it's, it's, it's easy to be, you know, uh, low vibrational. You know right. what I'm saying? Okay, yes. And it actually takes effort to be positive right. and to, like you said, yo, yo, what up? Big brother Shannon, you know, how you feeling? You good? You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, um, that's an everlasting feeling. You know what I mean? When it's time for us to all go away from this experience, that's the type of effect that I want to have on this planet. What's been the most difficult part of your evolving? Um, dealing with things and not understanding why. You know what I mean? Um, you know, uh, certain pain and certain hurt and not really understanding, like, why am I going through this? Right. You know, um, that has been not only essential to my growth, but also to my understanding. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, um, as, as a, <laughs> you know, a very important people in my uh, life would say, and also Jay-Z said, said this too, is this things is not happening to you, it's happening for you. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And I really live by uh, certain philosophies, and I, I really believe that, you know what I'm saying? It's like, if you really, Think about, you know, some adverse experiences. It's like it's information in there for you to get. Right. You know what I mean? Like, why are you going through this? Oh, okay. You need to, you know, uh, think about what you're doing. You need to maybe not let certain things go. You know, you need to stand up for yourself. Mm -hmm. And uh, essentially, that's what, you know, all my lessons in life ha have uh, showed me. What's been the most gratifying part about this evolution? I think... Um, you know, not knowing how you affect people. Mm -hmm. You know, there's been so many times when people have uh, come up to me and they just, they like, yo, I don't know when I'm gonna see O again, but yo, I have to just tell you, like, you know, you helped me go through this breakup, you know what I mean? Or you helped me get through this. I think that um, sometimes you don't really realize how much you can affect people, you know what I mean, until that person comes up to you. and. It's sometimes, it's so random, you know what I mean? I, I remember I was in uh, the UK, uh, I was in London, and I just, I was about to walk into this place, but I, I wanted to, you know, just take a beat real quick, you know, and I just walked down this random, you know, side street, and it was like, come down, like six girls. And they like, is that Omaria? Oh my God, we about to go to such and such, and we love you, can we take a picture? And it was just so random, and it's just like, I find that, you know, when you share certain energy with people, mm -hmm. that energy, it comes back to you, right. you know what I mean, in, in the most prolific ways. And, you know, I'm not somebody that is always happy, you know right. what I mean? I have my moments, but those moments, you know, definitely boost me and uh, make me feel like all of the work that I'm doing, it actually makes sense. People refer to you as the unbothered king. Yeah. So you've learned, I determine 
my success. I don't let the negativity, I don't let you say, people say, well, that wasn't bad. I felt good when I was making this album. I felt good when I was making this yeah. song. So, okay, everybody's not going to like it. Yeah. But I felt good yeah. when, I do, when I put things out like this. Yeah, and I have intention. Right. You know, and my intention is to, you know, make someone else feel good. Right. You know what I mean? And, you know, whether that's one person or a billion people, right. you know what I'm saying? My intention still reigns. Bro, how do you stay so, look, we all, like you said, we, we, we all get upset. We all yeah. get angry. Yeah. But it seems your, your calm demeanor is like you really never get outside of, oh. Yeah. Have yeah. you always been like that? Or that was a, is that a, a work in progress or that's an ongoing work that you had to work on? Yeah, I think I think it's a little bit of both. You know, what I mean, it's something that I've had to work on because certain situation has, you know, called my emotions right. to heighten to a level that I, I wasn't prepared for. Right. You know what I'm saying? But essentially, it still goes back to choice. Right. You know what I mean? And I'm choosing to show up in the world this way. Right. And, you know, like I said, not everybody, you know, um, understands it. You know what I'm right. saying? Some people feel like it's unauthentic. You know, right. after the fans dubbed me Mr. Unbothered, it was like people wanted to. They try to put you in a situation yeah, to get you, Bob. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they want to, you know, mess with me more. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and, you know, having emotional intelligence. And, and this is what this is how I look at being, you know, mm -hmm. dubbed Mr. Unbothered. It's like when you really think about it, at the end of the day, you know, when someone is, you know, has the intent to pull you out your space, right. like, you're going to give them that power. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're going to really give up that power to allow somebody to, you know, make you turn into something. Man, I that needed you. Could, Where were you, you know two I mean? months ago? Well, they got me out of character. Now you telling me all this, and I definitely let somebody get me out of my character. Damn. Hey, I nah. needed to hear this conversation two months ago. No, nah, I said, hey, I seen that clip, and I was like, whoa, that's a lion on the court. <laughs> like, hold up, man. Hey, get somebody. They can't even hold it. Wait a minute. Man, you know well, they I mean? never not going to call me the unbothered kid. <laughs> I'm the bothered kid. I was bothered. Man, I seen that and I was like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> hold on, what's going that, on? I said the same thing. I'm like, who is that dude? I'm like, no, not me. <laughs> not me. Not me. That's me. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and become an official member of Club Shay Shay, where we do something before two something.